For decades, India's brightest minds flew abroad chasing world-class education. But now, the world is flying in. Because the University of Liverpool, a proud member of the UK's Russell Group, is opening its first ever campus in India, right here in Bengaluru. This isn't just another academic announcement, but it's a milestone in global trust and a move towards scientific diplomacy and a gateway to innovation in India's Silicon Valley. Let's break it down. So the university has 150 plus years of academic excellence, nine Nobel laureates, top tier research in biomed science, AMR, and material discovery, and it's ranked gold in UK's teaching excellence framework. Kiran Masumdar Shaw, chairperson of Biocon and a global voice in healthcare, said that Bengaluru is the natural home for Liverpool's vision because the city blends world-class talent with bold ideas, which is exactly what the world needs right now. And Bengaluru has long been a magnet for intellect, startups, and GCCs. And now it's becoming a global destination for global academia. CM Sidramaya stated, For years, our best minds went abroad. Today, a top global university is choosing to come here. And that says everything. And to Karnataka's youth, you now have a gateway to the world right in your own backyard. This is more than just access. This is ambition that is localized. Liverpool's research in antimicrobial resistance, AMR, is among the world's most advanced. Their Cameo Head project, led by Professor Alison Holmes, is now aligned with Karnataka's AMR action plan. Dr. M.C. Sudhakar, Karnataka's health minister, confirmed that AMR is not a distant threat, it's a present emergency, and this partnership brings both urgency and expertise. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw echoed this further and said that Liverpool's presence in Bengaluru strengthens India's scientific arsenal against AMR. It's not just a collaboration, but it's a convergence of intent. MOUs were signed with Wipro, Axis Bank, TIE Bangalore, AstraZeneca, Dream11, and Yuvraj Singh's UVCAN Foundation. Madan Padaki, president of TIE Bangalore, said that with Liverpool, this city becomes not just a startup capital, but a launch pad for global academic entrepreneurship. And Sanjeev Jain, CEO of Wipro, said that Bengaluru's blend of academia and enterprise just got sharper. This partnership will accelerate skilling and innovation. Mazumdar Shah further added, This is how we build global competence, by connecting education with enterprise and vision with opportunity. Karnataka is also inviting Liverpool to collaborate on the Twin City Innovation in Tumukuru, a smart, infrastructure-rich industrial cluster where academic excellence meets global supply chains. Minister M.B. Patil said that Liverpool's presence here is not symbolic, it's quite strategic. It strengthens our ambition to be India's most innovation-driven state. Here are the few courses launching in 2025. Business Management, Computer Science, Biomedical Sciences, games design, accounting and finance, and students will benefit from global mobility, research internships, industry integration, and access to 270,000 plus alumni across 170 countries. Professor Tim Jones concluded that this isn't just a satellite campus. This is the University of Liverpool in India, which is authentic, ambitious, and future ready. So from Gurugram to Greater Noida, and now from Bengaluru, and from STEM to Biomedical Sciences, the future of global education has a new Indian address. And this move doesn't just benefit Karnataka, it's a signal to the world that India isn't just building unicorns, but it's building universities. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember to think AI and think AIM.